So uh, these, these are days that you truly love being in military medicine, uh, and, and it really is awe-inspiring to be able to work with our colleagues and collaborators. Uh, this started off early this morning, uh, getting a flight. You can see the C-130 behind us, uh, and there were a bunch of us on that plane along with our Polish partners. And what we were really able to do is show that capability and capacity we have in the military, uh, not just the U.S. military, especially the Air Force and the Army, uh, but also our uh, coalition and allies and partners. Uh, specifically Germany, uh, along with the Polish military, along with our Romanian partners, were all involved. Uh, and it really highlighted our ability to really respond anywhere, anytime, uh, to any crisis, uh, sort of acute or chronic. Uh, it, and it was very exciting. There's fancy equipment where you can get up into the body and stop the bleeding. That didn't exist when I deployed then. The critical care air transport teams and the assets they have are truly amazing. They didn't have those and didn't have the expertise that they have today. So it, it really is a different battle space. It still benefits us to train with any number of patients just because um, it's the skill level we're looking at. It's the critical thinking we're looking at. It's the teamwork we're looking at. So if they can do all those things in a small group, we know they'll be able to do that in a larger group. And, um, I would say for us, some of the challenges that we may have when working with partners and allied nations is the communication piece on our evacuation platforms. And so during this particular exercise, it gave us the opportunity to kind of work through that communications piece.